Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Aditya Gupta, currently pursuing my DM in Pediatric Oncology at AIMS New Delhi, uh, having secured All India Rank 17 in AIMS PG 2018 and this is my fiancé Dr. Divya. Hi, I am Dr. Divya Madan, I am currently pursuing my MD in Pediatrics from SMS Hospital Jaipur, uh, having secured a rank of All India all India rank of 1400, 1400 and 8PG 2020. So this is a recall based video of the uh, May INI CET 2022 which happened today. Uh, as luck would have it, I was there in Jaipur so we decided that we'll make a recall video. At the same point of time, we wanted this video to be a, a, a bit of a description about how to prepare for the exam, what are the important tips and tricks and how to make notes for the exam which are very essential for your success. I believe that Divya actually has much much more knowledge than I do have. Uh, but uh, I'm a better exam taker and that is the reason uh, I got all in a rank 17 and she got uh, she also got a really good rank but my rank was better because i'm a better exam taker and she has actually more knowledge so <laughs> so let's begin uh, so first question was which of the following is a deaminated methylated cytosine so even if you remember from your class 12 knowledge any neat ug people is watching this ncrt is in the bar uh, so this they are simply asking you ki cytosine se amino group hata do okay and at the same point of time make methyl dal do uh, even if you don't know the answer to this question, the, uh, even if you haven't done this question or do not remember the structures and per particularly anything, you can still figure out the answer. And how do you do that? So we know that uh, pyrimidines, this is basic knowledge from 11, 12 standard, that pyrimidines are uh, you, uh, guanine, uh, sorry, pyrimidines are your uh, uracil, cytosine and your adenine, uh, sorry, thymine. Thymine, cytosine and uracil are your uh, pyrimidines and adenine and guanine are your uh, purines. So purines cannot be the answers. We can immediately rule out these two options as a question because uh, pyrimidines are the six ring structures while uh, purines are the nine ring structures. And since it's just asking you to uh, remove one amino group and add a methyl group, it has to be a pyrimidine, it cannot be a purine. Now amongst uracil and thymine, we know that thymine is known as uh, back in 11th or 12th standard in the NCR, it is written that uh, thymine is 5-methyl uracil. So even if you remember this simple bit of information, you can e easily figure out the answer. So this is these are the actual structures if you want to know the structure. So this is cytosine. If we remove the if we remove the if we remove the amino group, this will become uracil. And at the fifth carbon position, if we add the methyl group, this uracil will become thymine. So the answer to this question is simply uh, deaminated methylated cytosine. Answer will be thymine. Uh, let's move on. So the way I will elaborate this question. So this is uh, apparently a repeat question. Uh, other time the question was which of these is a checkpoint inhibitor this time it is asked that which of the following is not a checkpoint inhibitors and the options are pretty the same pembrolizumab, cetuximab, nirolumab and the answer is and the answer is cetuximab so we know that pembrolizumab and nirolumab they both are checkpoint inhibitors used in the treatment of Hodgkin's lymphoma. In fact, I in the last INICT, I had made a recall video uh, on this particular topic itself. Uh, and this actually highlights the importance of uh, doing repeats. I like I especially as far as INICT is concerned, we tend to consider INICT to be a tougher exam as compared to NEET PG. But actually the fact is that AIMS and INICT in general tends to repeat a lot of questions. The question might not be a direct repeat. For example, this is not a direct repeat. Uh, they The last time that they asked is nivolumab is a type of checkpoint inhibitors. I don't remember the exact question of which the following is used in, uh, in the uh, treatment of Hodgkin's lymphoma and they had asked about pembrolizumab. I don't remember the exact question. It was asked in 2020 itself. But the topic is repeated again. So their favorite topic now has become checkpoint inhibitors. And just a little bit of inside information this question was asked in our dm entrance examination as well so there's a good chance that <laughs> the person who was making this question for dm entrances has made the same question for the pg entrance as well so a this is the mistake i did at my time because i didn't solve much of the repeat questions i just gave the mock test and uh, never bothered about Practicing the actual, much more of the previous year questions. So, actually, so it's important that you give grand tests. It's important that you give no mock tests that like they were did. It improves your rank. But it's equally important that you solve the actual previous year question, especially the past five year questions. A minimum three years and especially more than uh, five years question, definitely. Especially as far as AIMS is concerned, uh, there's no doubt that a lot of topics are repeated. And uh, even if the question doesn't seem like a repeat question, uh, it will be it will be a sort of an offhand, like, you know. So, let's, la last time they will, especially when they asked what is volume of kya hai checkpoint. Is where log wo pooch rahe hai ki kaun sa nahi hai like that so you so tumhe checkpoint inhibitors char panch to naam hai mushkil se uh, pembrolizumab nivolumumab ipilimumab teen char to checkpoint inhibitors hai tumko unke yaar naam yaad karne hai and you can easily attempt another question so this is a very easy question if you have marked this wrong or if you do not know the answer remember it's simply because you did not practice previous year questions thoroughly uh, the next question is the active metabolite of cyclophosphamide. Uh, again, the answer is easy. It's the answer we know this. We do it in pharmacology. It's aldophosphamide. I think a lot of people are telling me that actually my options are hydroxy or methyl. Karke kuch diya 
किया हुआ था सो रिमेंबर दैट साइक्लोफॉसोमाइड इज मेटाबोलाइज इन लिवर सिंस इट्स मेटाबोलाइज इन लिवर वहाँ पे उसकी हाइड्रोक्सीलेशन होती है एंड आल्डो वर्ड अगर हम लोग केमिस्ट्री से भी याद करें तो आल्डो में भी हाइड्रोक्सी ग्रुप ही बनना होता है तो उसमें भी मिथाइल ग्रुप्स ऑप्शन इमीजिएटली ऑप्शन रूल आउट हो जाएगा तो जो हाइड्रोक्सी वाला आंसर होगा दैट विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नॉट ट्रू अबाउट एनीमिया ऑफ क्रॉनिक डिजीज ये दिव्या अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन करेगी लेट्स सी हाउ शी डज actually here comes the importance of notes note making right so these are actually the uh, is the clip of my medicine notes she's actually. actually these are her own medicine notes and um, we'll give a link in the description yeah uh i was actually making this is these these is not uh, these are not my hemat section this is the endocrine section where i was mentioning about the various receptors that are asked and i remember that in hepcidin pathway also there comes the smad receptors and transferrin receptors and i try to incorporate it in uh, the, the endonodes itself in the yeah. endonodes itself right and also aditya has also mentioned multiple times to make contrast in your notes and make colorful diagrams and tables so following this is a table differentiating iron deficiency anemia versus the anemia of chronic disease so exam will almost always ask you things which are basically two contrasting features they want to know whether you know the difference between these two things or not that's why the importance of tables comes in which highlights the importance of differences and uh, she did it beautifully in this diagram where she has essentially made all the contrasting features between iron deficiency anemia and anemia of chronic disease so iron deficiency anemia mein kya ho raha hota hai ferritin kam ho raha hota hai hepcidin bhi kam ho raha hota hai serum iron bhi kam ho raha hota hai आयरन एनीमिया ऑफ क्रॉनिक डिजीज में सिर्फ सिर्फ आयरन कम हो रहा होता है जिसकी वजह से अनीमिया हो रहा है बट फेरेटिन बढ़ा होता है और हेप्सेडिन भी बढ़ा होता है सो ये कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग फीचर जो है इसने बहुत ही क्लियरली इस टेबल में हाईलाइट किया सो वेन यू आर रिवाइजिंग दम इन द लास्ट वन वीक टू वीक्स यू वॉन्ट फर्गेट दिस एंड यू वॉन्ट मार्क दिस आंसर रॉन्ग विद द आंसर सो गेटिंग टू द कंसेप्ट द एक्चुअल कंसेप्ट सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल कंसेप्ट सो आयरन अब्जॉर्ब कैसे होता है आयरन हीम आयरन जो होता है फर्स्ट इट गेट्स कन्वर्टेड फ्रॉम the fe3 plus state that is your uh, you know the more oxidized state to fe2 plus by duodenal cytochrome b this is an example this is a diagram given in robins then it's transported by the di uh, divalent metal transporter inside absorb hone ke liye wahan pe ferropotin se jata hai ferropotin fir kya karta hai transferrin se combine kar deta hai ye iron ka absorption simple sa hai isme ferropotin ko na hepcidin inhibit karta hai agar hepcidin ferropotin ko inhibit karega to iron absorb nahi ho payega I hope you are able to understand this concept. And ये फेरोपोर्टिन सिर्फ यहाँ पर नहीं होता ये मैक्रोफाजेज एंड रेटिकुलर एंडोचिलर सिस्टम में भी होता है जहाँ से आयरन की रीस सर्कुलेशन हो रही होती है नॉट ड्यूरिंग इन्फ्लेमेशन एनी अनिमिया ऑफ क्रॉनिक डिजीज जब इतनी ज़्यादा इन्फ्लेमेशन हो रही होती है इंटरल्यूकिन सिक्स बढ़ जाता है इंटरल्यूकिन सिक्स क्या करता है हेप्सिडिन को बढ़ा देता है हेप्सिडिन को बढ़ा देगा तो फेरोपोर्टिन क्या होगा फेरोपोर्टिन काम करना बंद कर देगा वैन फेरोपोटिन वोट वर्क आयरन वोट गेट एब्सॉर्ब एंड एट द सेम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम जो रेटिकुलर एंडोथिलर सिस्टम में जो भी आयरन था वो भी उस सिस्टम से नहीं निकलेगा तो सिरम आयरन कम हो जाएगा हेप्सिडिन बढ़ जाएगा बट हमारी बॉडी के आयरन स्टोर्स खराब कम नहीं हुए इट्स नॉट दट आयरन स्टोर्स हैव डिक्रीज इन द बॉडी दे वी आर जस्ट नॉट एबल टू यूटिलाइज दो आयरन स्टोर्स बिकॉज फेरोटिन फेरोपोटिन इज नॉट अवेलेबल बिकॉज इज बी एनिबेटेड बाई हेप्सिडिन एंड यू कैन नॉट गेट द आयरन इन द रेटिकुलर एंडोथिलर सिस्टम इन द माइक्रोफाजिस टू मूव आउट फ्रॉम द फेरेटिन स्टोर्स तो फेरेटिन नॉर्मल रहेगा या इंक्रीज कर जाएगा विच शी हैज हाईलाइटेड इन दिस डायग्राम वेरी ब्यूटिफुली दट आयरन कम हो जाएगा तो ऑप्शन कम हो रही है निकल नहीं पा रहा है बट एट द सेम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आयरन डेफिशियंसी में हमें कोई स्टोर ही खत्म हो गया हमारे पास आयरन खाई नहीं रहे तो स्टोर कैसे रहेगा तो सिर्फ फेरेटिन कम हो गया यहाँ पे सिर्फ फेरेटिन बढ़ जाएगा आयरन डेफिशियंसी में हेप्सिडिन कम होगा यहाँ पे हेप्सिडिन इंटरल्यूकिन सिक्स की वजह से एज एन एक्यूट फेज रिएक्ट एंड हेप्सिडिन बढ़ा होगा सो द क्वेश्चन वॉज वेरी सिंपल विच आर द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ट्रू क्रॉनिक इन्फॉर्मेशन कंडीशन ये ऑब्वियसली दट कॉज इंटरल्यूकिन सिक्स दट कॉज इज हेप्सिडिन राइज लो लेवल ऑफ सिरम फेरेटिन एंड आयरन आयरन स्टोर इज एडिकुएट सो आयरन स्टोर इज एडिकुएट ये सही है बट लो लेवल ऑफ सिरम फेरेटिन गलत है फेरेटिन या तो नॉर्मल होगा या ज्यादा होगा लो लेवल ऑफ सिरम फेरेटिन सिर्फ और सिर्फ आयरन डेफिशियंसी अनिमिया में होते हैं तो यहाँ पे क्लियरली इस डायग्राम से इस इस मतलब ऐसे तुम्हें नोट्स बनाने चाहिए अपने उसमें कि आयरन डेफिशियंसी एनिमिया डिक्रीज सिरम फेरेटिन यहाँ पे इंक्रीज सिरम फेरेटिन क्योंकि इन कॉन्ट्रास्टिंग फीचर से तुम्हारे याद इट वुड भी इजी फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर एज वेल एट दट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम लास्ट बट डेफिनेटली नॉट द लीस्ट नॉट एन एज रिफाइनिंग अगैन so the options were non hodgkin uh, lymphoma kaposi sarcoma cervical cancer and uh, melanoma so this is picture from robins hmm. and uh, it is uh, also a repeat question multiple it's times it's actually asked. been a repeat question so again you should not answer these questions wrong right rabia so uh answer here will be melanoma and again we actually had a discussion about this tere hisab se hame melanoma sahi karwana chahiye tha na 
शी आशी दिस दिस वन थिंग शी सेट वॉज एब्सोलूटली राइट सी मेलोनोमा भी कई लोग एज डिफाइनिंग इलनेस में कोई समटाइम्स ऑफ स्किन कैंसर में लोग ने रिसर्च किया इज समटाइम्स कंसिडर एज डिफाइनिंग इलनेस बट द थिंग इज दैट थ्री थिंग्स आर वेरी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक अगेन हर नोट्स नॉन हॉस्टल लिफोमा बी सेल लिफोमा बेसिकली कैपोसी सार्कोमा एंड वेजे सर्वाइकल कैंसर और एनल कैंसर्स ये चीज़ हमें पता है कि एज डिफाइनिंग इलनेस है नो no, अब तुम्हें बहुत सारे रिसोर्सेज मिल जाएंगे जो ये शायद बोल रहे होंगे कि मेलोनोमा भी हो सकता है या नहीं हो सकता है बट द फैक्ट रिमेन्स एंड दिस इज वाई लोगों को बेमतलब कई बार पीपल समटाइम्स फील दिस इज अ कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल एंड सिंग लाइक दैट डोंट रन आफ्टर कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल क्वेश्चन स्टिक टू वन आंसर एग्जाम दिया हुआ है कि ये तीन चीज़ें ही एड्स फाइनिंग एलनेस है तो फोर्थ ऑप्शन यू माइट फाइंड अ रिसोर्स विच से मेलोनोमा कैन बी एन एड्स फाइनिंग एलनेस बट द आंसर हेयर विल बी मेलोनोमा इज द दे आर आस्किंग यू टू चूज द बेटर ऑफ द ऑप्शन सो एग्जाम टेकिंग इज अ स्किल दैट यू नीड टू लर्न which she did not do the repeat questions <laughs> so that is one thing sorry it's okay <laughs> <laughs> but yeah repeat questions is one thing that uh, she did not do and i practiced them really thoroughly frankly and uh, but the reason she was still, we were we both were able to get really good answers because we both had really good set of notes like this and you should also try to make similar notes so hopefully you enjoy the session bye bye